Hi, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, let's answer the question, should you spend your entire advertising budget on the first day? Okay, so last week on episode 312, which was about the Google Play acquisition report, I had a really good question from Royal Penguins who said, Hey Eric, I don't know if you talked about this already, but let's say you have $3,000 to spend on advertising an app that you would, that you would release, for example. Would you would be smarter to spend some money at first so that potential reviews show up and then spend the rest of the money when you have some reviews? Would it be smarter to spend it all on the first day to gain immediate momentum? Would it be smarter to spend, or would it be smarter to spend it over a period of time? This is one of the things where I think you have to look at the at the the acquisition flow of how things go. So we talked about the Google Play acquisition report, how you have people hitting your Google Play Home Store page, or the, versus people who actually download the application versus people who actually make purchases, right? So it's important to get reviews, right? That that's really important. But you also need to have like a test launch. So for me. I have never done like a full day of launch, spend like thousands of dollars. In fact, I've done, I don't think I've ever spent thousands of dollars advertising on my any of my apps in my life, right? It's just, and I think sometimes, I, I have, has crossed my mind. I think maybe if I do that, then things will really pick up. But you have to think about that flow. So if you got lots of people hitting, if everyone who hits your Google Play page to begin with, if none of them are downloading or if it's a really small percentage of people who are downloading, if the conversion rate is really low, then you should turn off all ads. So for me, I would start the ads up, but keep like a, keep a reasonable, you know, day rate. I, like for me, like $20, you know, 20, 20, $30 for me is usually what I do, right? And then you can see if things are coming through and if you're getting people hitting that page, but nobody's downloading, then you have to work on that page. So you turn it off. To me, it's like whenever I do plumbing in my house, which is very rare because I can I turn a problem from bad to worse easy, right? But like, you know, you have to turn the water off, right? You turn the water off and then you fix the leaks. You turn the water back on. If it's leaking again, turn the water off. So this is, there's going to be a leak in your pipeline, right? So if you, the whole thing that ads do is get people to your Google Play page or to your App Store page. You know, they don't actually result in, in downloads. This is one of the things that, that gets me about, you know, CPI campaigns or pay, no, CPA campaigns, uh, cost per acquisition is that you're paying for people actually going into your app or actually making a download to your app. But you have to look at if people are hitting your app store page and nobody's downloading, it might mean that your screenshots are no good or your description is not good or they just don't see the point of it or the ad may have looked good, but they're not actually making the download. So look at that. And if your revenue goal, it's like, if your revenue goal is for advertising, just getting people in will probably be what you're looking for. But if it's actually towards in-app purchases, you have to look at the, the next stage of that. So how many people who actually download the app, how many of them are making the in-app purchase? So for me, I would make sure until you got all those stages right before you turned on you know, the, the advertising. But I know other people who have had big launches and that's the way that they've done to gain momentum, right? So I've Normally, yeah, like I said, normally it's like 20 or 30. Actually, there have been times where I've done like a hundred dollars a day for advertising, but like I just I switch it off right away. For me, I'm like I switch things on, see everything running. It's like like you start up the engine once you hear the noise, you know, oh, there's something wrong, turn it off, and then fix that thing, and then keep going again, right? Always think about it as, you know. <laughs> test as you go, try to get things going, you know, as, as far as possible. And eventually, hopefully you get to the point where you're not running advertisements anymore. Right now, actually, I do have advertisements that have been running for the last several months. This is like the longest I've ever run a continuous ad campaign. And it's all targeted ads based on, on it's going through, uh, through AdMob, no, say AdSense, AdWords Universal App Campaign, and it's only going targeted towards people who make in-app purchases. So there's an option there where it will do use machine learning to find people who are most likely to make in-app purchases, and those are the only people that I want to advertise to, and only people in the U.S. So, and that's because that's such a tight constraint. Even though I have like a twenty dollar a day budget on it, it only spends like three or four dollars a day, and it sort of is growing as it goes because it's the machine algorithm supposedly is. is 
is learning as it goes, but it's just sort of this experiment thing that that's the longest I've ever gone. So my advice is think of it like a pipeline. If you know, you're checking for leaks in the pipeline first, so you put it through just enough at first to see if everything's working. You need to build up those reviews too. So that's, you know, that's a good way to do it. But yeah, I wouldn't spend it all on the first day. Although, you know what? <laughs> if, if you do that, let us know how it goes because I've, I've always thought about doing that and it'll be really interesting to see how that goes. So anyway, actually, and if you, any of you guys out there know differently, please put in the comments for Royal Penguins. You know, if you think doing an, a first day, you know, just, you know, have a big party blowout, put all your ads on the first day, put your whole marketing budget on day one, then, then let them know. But I'm just too, I'm just too cautious to do that myself. So anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.